and so to the quiet of the Leicester Square Hall and the greater deliberation of the snooker table there with Joe Davis, the greatest player the game has ever known. His opponent here is John Pullman, for many years amateur champion of Great Britain. Joe Davis goes for that red ball just outside the triangle. A preliminary skirmish. He doesn't pot it. This is his opponent's chance. A red. One. So long as there are reds left, a red must always be taken before each of the more profitable colours. There he goes for the pink in the middle of the table. Seven. Now for the red against the left-hand cushion. Alas, you can't miss those against Joe Davis. You may sit down now, Mr. Pullman, while the master clears the table. Here he is, down to the last few reds. A red. The black. Watch how his certainty in potting the object ball enables him to concentrate on getting the cue ball back into position. But to pot the black from this tricky situation, Joe Davis pulls this out of the bag. And it's in the pocket. <laughs> Remember Tommy Harmer's kick and the off-center impact which made the ball curve? Well, a cue can hit off-center too. But there are snookers. He has to hit this red down here by us, from which not even a swerve will rescue him. Difficult to go round, so let's go over the top. <laughs> and here is the ten break player's dream come true. Clearing the colours in their strict order. Not just potting the ball, but making each stroke leave the cue ball in perfect position for the next. Yellow, green. Why go to the ball if you can make the ball come back to you? Brown. Blue. Pink. Black. Take your cue from Joe Davis. Keep your eye on the ball. <laughs>